On a count of three, dumb. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. No problem. Do we need to do an intro? It's quite a long goal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you might as well. Fortunately, you put the uh, thing on screen so I can actually see it. So I'll just no, I'll just do it for you so you can just focus on the race. So hello, everybody. Um, that's Monkey JK here being, um, I guess, the uh, announcer for today's race, which is a race between Kitty Lady and Astra. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> she's she involved a little bit. Um, and, and the race here is um, essentially a gem race. However, you have to get a certain number of gems for each um, like set of levels and the uh, five home worlds uh, in the game. So uh, I think it's 50 for artisans, 100 for peacekeepers, some um, 150 for magic crafters, and you probably see the pattern here. It just increments by 50 for every single one up to uh, Dreamweavers. Mm -hmm. And then the finale is to uh, ride the whirlwind and get the, um, North Cove and uh, Twilight Harbor, if I can remember how to pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's the whirlwind, not the exit uh, vortex thing. It's, it's a different thing. So, so uh, yeah, that's uh, essentially what our two players are trying to do right now. Now, fortunately, Spark um, 1 will actually count the gem in the level itself, so it's a little easier to keep track of it. Yeah, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah. Now, the only tricky thing, I suppose, is to make sure you don't go into a level that doesn't give you enough chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so it has to be two levels, and it can't be a flight, or uh, the homeworlds don't count either. That's yep, it. just to make it, uh, you, know, you know, not too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah, the flight levels just have a whole lot of gems, usually. Mm-hmm. Quick gems. Yeah. Yeah, in case you need them. Um, actually, out of curiosity, is, like, the, uh, level sheet, uh, turn on, or is this just, um, vanilla? Yeah. All, yeah. all levels sheet. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes things easier. I don't always <laughs> have to worry more about, uh, everything else aside from gems. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me see. I do have a little cheat sheet here that I found for all collectibles in the game. I'm not going to, you know, not to influence the rest. I'm not going to actually tell you what the, they are. You'll have to figure that out on your own. <laughs> Try it. I forgot what it was. Oh well. Oh no! No one saw that. Oh wow, you're just going for Dream Beavers right away. Mm hmm. <laughs> as you go, so, nope. Yeah, it doesn't look like that will actually happen. <laughs> so, that's good news. Mm -hmm. If these uh, numbers are right anyway. No! Oh god, I'm almost dead! <laughs> Having a little trouble. <laughs> oh god, I hope I didn't just zombie. I think I might have zombied. Shit. Uh, this might be I interesting. Hope I didn't zombie. <laughs> oh god, I think I zombied. Oh. Well, there's, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> okay, no, I got sparks. Okay. Whew, we're good. <laughs> okay. 
I literally paused, like, so close to me dying. <laughs> right. Wait, why am I here? I do not want to be here. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to be in this level. Crap. <laughs> I autopiloted for, like, one <laughs> second and I'm in a level I don't want to be in. Yeah, you're like... <laughs> like, no, I'm just gonna jump over here and go like, oh, this portion of my house, let's go into that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get the mess ups out of the way in the beginning. And I guess if you zombie, you can't like interact with anything in that oh. uh, kind of state. It's very weird in Spyro 1. I think like it can soft lock the game and stuff like that. So it's not good. Ooh. Give me this gem, thank you. All right, Astra, where's your progress? Um, I have completed the Artisans and I just completed one level in Peacekeepers. All right. So, pretty interesting there, you're kind of tackling it um, two different ways. Okay, just doing it backwards or you're doing it um, you know, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> uh, so who knows, just yeah. actually get completed first. Did it need to get that dragon there? <laughs> Unless you want a checkpoint, but other than that. <laughs> Checkpoints are good. Yeah. They really need the assistance. <laughs> Otherwise, you can be a daredevil. Because uh, I've died twice now. <laughs> I overcollected by like f almost 50 gems. <laughs> and I went into oh. an extra level. This is a good start. <laughs> well, there were a lot of 25 gems in there, so. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to do that. Also, hey viewers, I'm Desert Monkey. <laughs> Those on uh, the Twitch stream. <laughs> in case you're curious. You're like, who is this guy? I'm so focused. <laughs> After those mess ups, I kind of have to be. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of tell. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed the title for your Twitch stream. <laughs> 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 A bit long was a lazy that title. <laughs> on my stream for YouTube Spark Tour called Dragon Racing Broke Up, Don't Ask Me. <laughs> yeah, that seems accurate. <laughs> Some runs have uh, a lot of companies, some um, them are just, you know, just the race. That's it, about it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, I need to try harder for some topics here. Why not? Uh, <laughs> mm. It's kind of like a trend that's been happening uh, a little bit in terms of like, you know, goals, at least as far as I notice, is starting to like come to goals that kind of to the point, start pushing against what the game wants you to do, like doing, <laughs> you know, reverse um, runs where the game doesn't mandatory make you do things anymore. So, mm -hmm. 
So, <clears throat> gee, my throat. Um, so let's save. Um, for example, like um, I guess yeah, it would be a different case of that. Like going backwards, but um, I don't know. Thing I actually can't think of any. <laughs> <laughs> I guess something that's not uh, very uh, obvious. I swear I had one. Crap. All right, I know. Um, the one where you have to kind of like um do like the objectives that you would normally do, but in the uh, world's opposite. So uh, technically, um, you could go to the other worlds without doing those objectives. You're not supposed to because of modern system, but you can. <laughs> so Snakeins could have with that kind of run, so... I suppose at some point, uh, eventually kind of go like, dang, we've done all sorts of runs. <laughs> it's hard to come up with uh, new ones. Yeah, especially with so many tournaments going on, too. Getting some fresh goals in there. Yeah, true. I seem to be accidentally grabbing dragons a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I also oh, may have died a couple times. Oh. Like what too? <laughs> <laughs> eh, I suppose I I'll find out eventually. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, my rod ain't dead. But you don't know. You can't see the other one. <laughs> I guess a good move here is just, you know, race as if you were losing all the time and now motivate you to go faster. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Never assume you get a win. You just you just keep going. <laughs> Oh crap, I don't have my sparks, oh god, spooters. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not a situation you want to be in. <laughs> yeah, probably not. It's yeah, and Jim collecting too, so be a little delayed. You know what? Here's a silly goal. Um, collecting um, something by intentionally dying after you get like a certain amount. <laughs> so yeah, they also constantly just look for lives during a run. Eventually, it'll get like to that point where it just start doing runs like that. Who knows? <sighs> okay, gotta go fast. <laughs> I don't really want green sparks and blowhard, but <laughs> in I go with green sparks. All right. Yeah, and I'm guessing like this is your second level in uh, Magic Crafters. What is for me? Uh, or as yeah, for you. Um, uh, I just Katie. have. Uh, Peacekeepers, and then Nasty's World to finish the whirlwinds. Oh, I just entered Peacemakers. Alright, well, not too far behind. It's just nail two in there, two in, uh, Magic Crafters, and might be able to catch up a little bit. Yeah, the real trick here is knowing where your, like, high-value gems are at. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I picked the best ones, but gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> I've never really had to think about where where each value of each gem is in each world before, so... <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what makes it a little interesting. You actually have to remember that. You placed Pyro before, but how well do you really know it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much just always just try to get everything in one go. Okay. You know what? That's actually. Hmm. 
a bad uh, way of doing objectives. Testing not only your, uh, you know, your reflexes, but also your wit. It's just seeing um, what things can actually remember. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I just saw you pop in. <laughs> so how are you doing, uh? Cyrus? I can't pronounce your name correctly. <laughs> uh, I can't even see your name, it's cut off. <laughs> a a jarbled, garbled mess. Hmm. Cyrus, I guess. Or just Cy. Yeah. Just easier. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> Let's see, there's a, a race happening? Or yeah, no, it's yeah. kind of in the uh, middle of it. <clears throat> Astra may or may not be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can probably guess which one of those it is, though. <laughs> Where are you now? I'm curious. <laughs> uh, Karis Village. Ooh. I got a bit of ground to cover there. Oh, I lost sparks. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first time for Katie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the truth. I had some uh, potential game overs in there. It didn't happen, luckily. Oh my god, no! Oh, yes! You guys doing the, the goal ratchet posted about? Yeah, it's mm -mm. basically the... Uh, Incremental uh, gem run. Yeah. Uh, Got to collect more gems for each uh, homeworld. I was gonna do every homeworld. Eh, except for uh, Ganesti Nexus, that you just have to find world runs and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, someone is heading to Ganesti's world right now. Okay, no, I'm making that sound mysterious, but <laughs> <laughs> did you hear me mashing? Uh, a, li a little. <laughs> it's not too noticeable. But yeah, since you pointed it out, you <laughs> <laughs> just a little click, click, and go like, "What is that?" <laughs> That's speed running. That's what you're hearing. Does that nice, count? Nice. Oh shit, I hope that counts. <laughs> uh, technically it counts. <laughs> I, I would assume so. <laughs> you did test the world win. Okay. Yeah. Say how I much wasn't expecting to that to happen. I was kind of hoping to drop all the way down, but I didn't. <laughs> Again, I did not know you could do that, but I suppose you can actually make use of that. <laughs> A little, Speed strats. Uh, a little helping hand. <laughs> the Nork. Alright, I'm done. Nork looking guy. Damn. <laughs> yep, I can confirm. She's done. So, um, Astra, where are you at? Ooh. I was still in Terrace Village. <laughs> I just what? gotta get <laughs> I just gotta oh. get over. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, I, feel I had a hard time there, ride that too. Whirlwind. I think that was cheating. I'm going to completely ride the whirlwind. wasn't a good choice. <laughs> yeah, just in case there's like, you know, a debate about that for some reason. Yeah, let's, like, yeah, let's do it. Like, like yeah, you, you didn't enter it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> it is the best way how to enter it. <laughs> Alright, I touched the ground and now I'm in the whirlwind. There we go. <laughs> ha! <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, just in case. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I had trouble in Terrace Village as well. I got like pinned between like two norks continuously just zapping me. <laughs> like, dang it, I don't want to be in a stun lock like this. No. I just keep dying a lot, don't I? Hey. Oh, it's 
<laughs> kind of curious why these Newark skins just constantly change colors. Like some are pink, some are yellow, some are green. Just a bunch <laughs> of different varieties. <laughs> <laughs> These narks on the barrels kind of look like the balloonist. Narcs. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they got them up and bit hands. Up and bit hands. <laughs> they do. Honestly, for like the longest time, I wasn't really sure if like the balloonist was like a crab or just wearing gummy Yeah, they're probably meant to be like, I don't know, just typical leather gloves or something. Yeah. But the texture, though, just makes him look completely different. Is he monster, or is it just white Yeah, of course it's also the polygons, you know. Because of PS1. <laughs> I just had an orc glitching out. What? Oh no. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> he was just kind of trying to get towards me, and then he just kind of like spazzed out. Well, then, I guess it's not your problem anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do that twirl just life beat in almost any level. Something up here in the height. Just make it useful. I'm not sure if you can- if this is a twirl or what. It's really easy on PAL, but this is really hard on NTSC. Or not! It's really easy. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, kind of finding out that's actually there you go. a lot safer way of doing the town square skip. Just doing that instead of going over the water. Oh, I've never managed to do that town square skip. I can't get up there. I mean, it's a few times, but... It's still a trick, I never do it consistently. It's one of, this is one of the things about speed running. It's like, I know a lot, like, I know of a lot of the tricks. I know where they are, but I cannot likely do them. Yeah, it's more just, you know, getting that exact right setup for it. Like, I've still never managed to proxy any kind of any of the three games. Like, dumbfounded by Yeah, I actually remember, like, one of proxies was actually in a cheat guide or something back in the day for like Hercos. So they're like, oh, that isn't the only place you can do it. You can do it anywhere. Yeah. Where the game just says basically, no, you can't be here. Go away. <laughs> it just ejects you. Eh, I chalk that up this point and it's like stuck prevention. Just sort of mechanics. Yeah, true. Then there's a case where it just sends you like a hundred feet into the air as a way of just getting you out to one spot. Yeah. Like, like I've seen. I don't know. If this happens in two and three. But like I've seen in like uh, Opti Castle. I think maybe. It's like mm. places where you can get stuck and it eventually like you can falling and not moving and just kill you. Okay. It happens in uh, two for sure. If you can keep yourself in a falling animation for long enough, it'll just kill you. Yeah. I, 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 just, I bet that's like definitely like stuff prevention. Like, yeah. It's just in I think case I, you somehow get somewhere you're not supposed to be. You can't get out yeah. of it. If I, think I remember I actually right, it doesn't take a toasty. life from you either. Huh. So just Which like three really spawns you, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Oh. That's interesting. I actually didn't notice that. It is possible to do that in like a toasty on like, um, you know, like kind of like side path, essentially. It's like one little spot near the very edge where it'll let you do that. I've never been gotten stuck. I just saw it in a recent run Sony did. I was like, oh, that's a thing. <laughs> A 
or at least they consider you know, like, okay, this can happen. It's very rare that it can, <laughs> it can, it's very rare that it can happen, but it can happen, and we don't feel like changing the load just a little bit to fix that. So we'll just. Well, it's know, one of those things. We'll just like, respond you. Just never know where it may <laughs> pop up. They may fix it in one place, but then they can show back up. So it's like a blanket solution, just in case they miss something. Mm -hmm. Which a lot of games now don't seem to do as much. Be like, oh, you're stuck. Well, I guess you're just stuck. I <coughs> consider that. <coughs> Okay, um, so, Castro, how close do huh? you think on, uh, finishing the, uh, goals there? I'm not really sure. I, I still gotta, I'm on my second world in Beast Makers, and then I gotta do Dream Weavers, and then I gotta do the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds like my kind of run. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is finished, and uh, I'll be turning about 30 minutes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, you might. You might have a chance against uh, Psy, considering. <laughs> yeah, I'm on real bad. <laughs> Yeah, again, more than anything is just like remembering where the good gems are. <laughs> that's really yeah, it. Yeah, so. that's one of my yeah. things. Routing, I'm not very good at routing anything. <laughs> routing's like a big weak point for me. That's what Especially Bingo is good for, because it gets you more used to it. Like routing on I the will fly. I will mm -hmm. say I do like that over something like 100% stuff. Like, yeah. I would rather have, like, a specific, like, you just have to get a certain amount of things, like, or, like, within a certain time frame, get as many as you can, sort of thing. Because then I could just be like, alright, well, I can't do this quickly enough, and I'm gonna mess up, so I'll just bail and do something else. Like, so kind of sound like that. But I gotta, like, yeah. try to route 100% route for a level. I'm just, like, looking around aimlessly, meandering, trying mm. to find things. Yeah, you're like, that one gem, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> It's like my, my playthroughs become almost too casual in that sense where I'm just like desperately searching for things. I have just entered Dreamweavers now. Heck yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, <clears throat> Katie's just hanging at the uh, edge of Grenork's Cove, seeing like through the edge of the world. Oh my god, he's just freaking out over there. Yeah, you can see a cloud under the water. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's not much, but it's there. <laughs> this is going to sound a little technical, but there's a thing called occlusion calling. Where, based on where you are, it'll decide not to draw certain things uh, that it knows you can't see. However, it doesn't mean it knows exactly where you're going to be all the time, so it's going to start doing things like this. <laughs> Bam, if you go out of the range of where you're really supposed to be at, it'll tend to freak out a little bit sometimes. Yeah, so if you ever see like the sky disappear like for a second, that's why that happens, even the sky hides like yeah. parts of itself. It's just like a vertex mesh, it's not like an actual... It's a... just a colored mesh rather than a like, image or something. Yeah, it's, like it's literally a, a sphere with a lot of geometry on it. Yeah. The best example I can think of the sky deloading is in Scorch, when you're doing the monkey challenge with Hunter. If you go in a certain spot, like, the sky will just deload and it's, like, bright blue and it sticks out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I actually kind of looked at, like, the, uh, you know, geometry, I think, and apparently that kind of, when it deloads, there's actually this, like, weird triangle thing outside of the skybox as well. So that's probably what that is, either that or it's just, you know, it just defaults to blue or something. I wonder why they even did that in first place, maybe to avoid, like, kind of like weird, the yeah, infamous Hall of Mirrors effect. <laughs> I 
is if it's definitely not just, um, the screen for the game to draw, it'll just draw on top of whatever career was there already and just it'll just be like this constant trail. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very weird. Coing also has lovely things to do with uh, a lot of skipping stuff just in general. Get back and bounce through the walls. It's only one sided faces. If they weren't <sighs> Oh god, the game's probably like terribly. Like in a Dragon Ball, it just did not do calling very well for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, I think in the Dragon Hit tonight just had like. Stuff. Yeah. Just so terrible thing... idea. <laughs> for any game, really, you just never do that. If you can't see the side of something, like the opposite side, it shouldn't be drawn. Yeah, because technically you're drawing like twice the polygons by doing that. Yeah. Sure, it's, it's flipped, it is, but you still need to the other side. Yeah, it's it's basically like you did two objects, like versus one, like two faces instead of one, even though it's the same face from the other side. It's just, yeah. Anyway, this is what happens to get two maulers in the same Discord. <laughs> You're like, what is all this technical stuff? Hey, <laughs> I'm sure you're curious how all this video game stuff works. <laughs> Gonna make it right it's fast. It's interesting so to talk don't. about. Yes. Yeah. So that way you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I, always, I always like seeing how they do certain things. Just, it's useful for me to do what I do, and then it's just also interesting. I like the, uh, the technical tricks, because they get away with like a lot of little tricks here and there in Inspire games, like all kinds of crazy stuff. It's like fake things and make things work the way they do. It's just really a marvel. The LOD stuff was like groundbreaking for the time. Yeah, I mean, I know like the levels split into chunks, <laughs> but I'm still kind of like oh, yeah. impressed how it just <laughs> works on per like piece. I mean, you don't notice it unless you really, really look at the like drawing in the distance and go like, "Hey, that's blurry. Hey, it's it's slightly popping and twitching. What is that? <laughs> that's yeah. that's actually what's happening. It's just that's lower." Like detailed geometry that I switch into. I never thought I'd be rescued. And it's all it's, it's interesting to look at the little models like just uh, what I mean is, like outside of things, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. Like the chunks aren't very big either. Like they're they're split up a lot. And like basically, one of the reasons why a lot of the skips were like, like getting up and going straight through walls that are like you know facing towards you visibly. It's like. They just cut off a lot of the top geometry that you weren't supposed to ever technically reach, so it just doesn't have any pollution at all. You can yeah, just set the part of the mesh just with nothing on it. Yeah, I mean, if you're, you're never going to see it, might as well not have it there. Yeah, and if you're never supposed to reach it, no reason to add to physics calculations. Yeah, there's also that. So, you just, you know, get up there and go like, Hey, I can pass through this wall, or this hill. There is no hill up here. <laughs> yeah. I can just go right through just it. all visuals. <laughs> yeah, let's go like... This level is like a stage. You're never supposed to see backstage, because there's nothing there for you to see. Yeah. I'm going to the It's the illusion. <laughs> Alright, so... How's progress uh, coming, Astra? <laughs> I'm on my second dream, Weaver's World. Wow. <laughs> I I died a few times already in Dream <laughs> I'm sure if I was playing Spyro one, I would be I played game over a few times right now. Yeah, yeah. game over once. Yeah, I'm sure I can like remember like some like the spots where a lot of gems are, but. I may or may not remember all of them. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah where's, where's I, all the map? I know a couple of them off the top of my head, but not really very helpful. Yeah, I mean, the thing too is that they kind of like uh, start to increase the values in the later levels, so it kind of like. It's almost as if like they're increasing, but they're not increasing at all, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah. Okay, everything's five gems now. That's basically the equivalent of one gem at this point, so. 
So it's like you're collecting 50 gems in every level and you just don't know it. And I'm sure that's my venting. <laughs> A little bit go like, oh jeez. I think Spur One's the only one that does that too, where it just starts increasing the amount of gems. Like, the rest of them have like a almost consistent like amount. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Again, I'm gonna go over to my cheat sheet here. Um, Spur Two is just 400 across the board for every single level in terms of gems. <laughs> yeah. It, that's another thing that's interesting to see. Like, I have a whole, like, spreadsheet someone made for me. It has, like, breakdown of how many gems, plus what type and color, and all that kind of stuff across all the games. The only thing that's not counted is for bonus round, but it's fun counting that. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell what gems are what. So I'll fly to you so fast there. Yeah, I think it's like, Hundreds. looking at it now, 5,000? That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and they all, like, the look, they're like the loading screen here. Or it's just like they'll fly to you in like giant chunks at a time. <laughs> it's crazy. This. It's it's interesting though to see like the like how they spread out the gem values and incremented them. Mm hmm. Another thing I find neat is the, uh, the portals in general. How they work? Yeah. And how you, like, Spyro stays in the world? <laughs> Even uh, though it looks just like, like they going into something else? Yeah, it's just like some, like, depth trickery, where, like, Spyro's <laughs> depth is, like, I think, I can't remember if it's higher or lower than the portals bases. So it just always renders Spyro on top of it, so we can just fly through the back of it. He's still in the level, but it looks like he's flying through the skybox. We actually yeah. used it had... in uh, 120 <laughs> to get the last, get a dragon in front of Crystal Flight. I actually had a moment earlier where you could see that he was just kind of going through the... Oh yeah, if you... I, I don't know why, when I was doing a Spyro rerun the other day, I think there was quite a few moments, maybe it was two, where I kept hitting the triggers as I was like leaving a portal and it would like snap the camera around. You could see him go from behind the portal slightly, not actually through the angle they wanted you to see. Yeah, then you go like, oh no, it's not real. <laughs> yeah, I guess they didn't lock the camera and trigger controls down as much. Yeah, I'm always like, I guess in retrospect, kind of considering like if it uh, forces the camera to be in a certain spot, but then it kind of gives it away. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing. It's like if you're entering a portal, you can only really trick it by, you know, being pretty particular with where your camera already is and the angle you're entering from. But for some reason, because it'll lock the camera controls in, but when you exit, they unlock them completely, it seems. Although it still tries to force something that you can like override it, I guess, on an exit. Yeah. <clears throat> I still miss the way they did in like Spyro One specifically, though, where you literally the camera goes in the portal with uh, Spyro. Yeah, that one's a bit more curious, and then they just drop it. Hmm. I would assume the actually I <laughs> I won't say because never mind. I'm not actually sure how that would work. Uh, it is quite interesting how they do Spyro One. Yeah, I mean, my only theory is that they, um, as soon as um, you, like, jump into Portal, um, like, um, hmm, well, I, I'm not sure how they do this on PS1, they probably can't, <laughs> um, but Sparrow possibly does this whole depth trick thing, or you actually get teleported to a different section, and you can actually see that, like, there's two cameras going on, and then the yeah. camera kind of teleports to that, like, you know, fake skybox, I guess. Either that, or there's like the depth trickery where they have it make it look he's flying in, and then they just unload the actual level you were in, and then load the level that that skybox is part of around you. Yeah, so, so I guess no like, words. Seamless. Yeah, in other words, think of like, you know, there's two skybox um, going on. One yeah. at the current level, and one you're going into, and you just get teleported to it, so. 
It's interesting, though. I can see why. It's one of those things that I, I know everybody's wanted them to like add a two and three for like reignited, but I'm thinking like the only reason it's possible for one, it's not technical reasons, it's just like the way the worlds are built allows for that one. Whereas in two and three, you have like stuff like intro cutscenes that would make it impossible for it to be a seamless load. The flying stuff can't happen in those. Yeah, that's actually a, a good reason why they changed it. Because they actually have to um, do the cutscene first, then you go into the level. But they just faded in. I'm like, oh well. I like yeah, how they just did a fly through on the other one. It's yeah, like, that is the same. Then you, there's stuff like certain levels where it's like, wouldn't really be able to do a fly through because it's just completely enclosed, sort of a thing. Like in Quarry Towers, and you're just straight up enclosed in there. Like you, there'd be nowhere to fly in from currently. And there's other stuff like I think sunny beach too. Mm -hmm. I think. Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. I almost got something. Oh. <laughs> <missed. laughs> oh, you're trying a technique there. Mm hmm. Big skip. Yeah, it never hurts to practice something like that. Are you like trying to get behind Twilight Harbor? No, uh, you skip up the uh, dragon's mouth of Twilight Harbor, and then the top of oh. Nasty Nork's dragon head is not solid, so you can skip right in. Something that they do in ah. any percent. Mm. It's well, not in my any percent run, but... I didn't know about that. Mm. I'm yeah. curious as to... Can that happen for Ganassi's loot as well? No, nope. that one's completely that solid. Yet. It's just it's weird. It's completely I... solid on top. <laughs> Nasty's uh, it, mouth is the only one that isn't solid in this home world. Yeah. It's a weird consistent. I wonder why it happened. Maybe they, they forgot. They wanted us to speedrun it, obviously. It's <laughs> 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 almost disappointing in a way, though, to be able to get into Nasty's early, but not Nasty's loot. Yeah, yeah. probably went like, okay, let's make this one solid, and go like, wait, why am I doing this? They'll never get back here. Just forget about the Nasty work. I'm like, <laughs> My work's done, I don't need to do that. <laughs> but no, it is need completely back, back possible to get on top of loot, but you can't get in, it's all solid. Oh, uh, can't even get, like, through the back or anything? It's just all completely... That's all solid, yep. <laughs> Damn. They really, they really went out of the way to, like, make that one inaccessible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Twilight Harbor is also solid too. I don't know why. It's completely solid as well. Mm. I see, it's that kind of weird, like, in inconsistencies where I wonder, like, what was going on in development that only one of those ended up with no physics? Mm hmm. That. Yeah. Well, I doubt it was deliberate. <laughs> yeah, like, I, it wasn't, like, it was definitely not deliberate. I just wonder, like, like, what were they initially planning to do with that that it didn't end up with proper physics? Like uh, maybe they would have done a different design and didn't have time and then forgot to put collision in before it shipped, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Mm. Uh, that would be a, a good guess. Mm. Plus, the, I think Nasty's world was supposed to be bigger in general anyway, so that even yeah. those oh, actually, probably... I got a theory. Um, heard of like the Genesis tool for a spiral um, edit? Yeah. Yep. It turns out, if you stretch a polygon long enough, it won't have collision, valid collision anymore. So that might be the case for the dragon oh. head in the back. The polygon's too big. <laughs> so the collision just fails. That could be the case. I that sounds have no pretty idea, accurate. but that's a, that's a theory. <laughs> that would be, like, a good explanation. My only, my only thing with it is, like, if you look, though, like, one would assume, at least looking at them, other than, like, you know, some lighting and changes like that, like, they all should be, you would think, identical. So, like, you would think if it would happen to Nasties, that the other ones would have the same issue Probably. with the, uh... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they're the same uh, model, just different colors. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it just makes me curious. Like, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know why. <laughs> um... Shouldn't Twilight Harbor open if I exited through the vortex? Uh, uh, yeah. Gotta get the dragon. That's usually what it does. In the home world. Oh. oh. I so did not case, know that. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to 
So I'm guessing, can you like get it, leave, uh, and come yeah, back now, to uh, Nasty Worlds? Now it opened. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it just it just does that. Okay. <laughs> I guess that works too. I never really knew that because I always just automatically got that dragon anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, what an odd trigger for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is whatever. Like, that's a weird thing. I remember the last time I played through Spyro 1 or 100 percent of it, I like... Okay, I went through the whirlwind. Alright, nice, dude. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so how far apart was I? Uh, no idea. Uh, I, I, I lost track. <laughs> <laughs> I think a couple of minutes. I'm thinking yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> How far apart were our endings? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe like, I don't know, 10 minutes? 5? <laughs> Approximately 7 minutes, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to like, today we're having such a good conversation. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, congrats to, uh, Okay, lady. She doesn't uh, remember <laughs> where all the gems were. <laughs> that seems like Who's uh, gonna edit? Is, uh, the enemies. Are you so, good at anyway. editing, or should I edit? Uh, no, I, I'm not good at editing at all. <laughs> if you want to send it to me, I'll do it. Okay. I shouldn't be busy okay. after like tomorrow. I should be fine. So it was just this weekend that was like swamped for me. And Ratchet's like, get something down before Saturday. And I'm like, I can't. Don't bully me. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. Yeah. But there's just finally there's able obstacles. To get some <laughs> Very difficult obstacles. I, I'm still practicing my speed game. For <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, if you're, right. for some reason still recording this, uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Yes. <laughs> 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 so if not, it's just gonna awkwardly just cut off. Go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>